hope you're really well. This is Happily Planning with Karen, and I'm Karen. Uh, where do we start? Today I thought I'd do a planner stack. <laughs> or is it meant to be my planners for next year? I don't know. Either way, I could build, I think, maybe the Wall of China with all of these. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> if I do that, there you go. Is that better? So we've got work and non-work. So I've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine planners. Holy moly. That is one way of putting it. Um, but I do actually have 10. Well, I do actually have 11, but I think I'm parting with it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. At the minute, I do not have a purpose for my Hobonichi cousin. And while it grieves me, um, it's okay. Because if I haven't got a need, I don't want to just find a need for the sake of using a planner. Because, yeah, yeah, that's not me. And I don't want to do that. So I think I might be destashing that. I haven't decided. But let's start with the work planners first. Because these are the ones that I will be able to say less about. Purely because they are work planners. So let's zoom us in a bit closer. Ooh. So first of all, I've got my three work planners here. And for those that don't know, um, I run a mystery box company based here in the UK. And we ship worldwide. And I curate boxes that are from Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Paris pins, Harry Potter boxes, Disney boxes chocolate boxes british boxes and it's called enchanted mysteries and although i do a lot of technology i've got a macbook i've got my laptop i've got spreadsheets word excel you name it i also like written paper i do i like to keep notes of things in a book so i can look back that's really really important to me and that's something um, i value so First of all, I've got this, I'm, and I'm not going to open them because some of them I've, I can open this one, but the others I've started using. So this is an A6 Techo, uh, Hobonichi Techo, and I can show you the inside cover. I've just put some, I don't set it up. And I just use this to help me track um, sales in the company. So that's my sales book. I use that every single day. Then this is the Hobonichi Techo A5 size, and it's the year. So in the front, you've got the months, you've then got the weeks. To be honest, what I use it for is the daily pages. So I use these pages in here for my to-dos, um, things I need to do on a daily basis. So this is like my my work bible i suppose you could call it so there's that and it's the same cover as last year because i adore this cover um so yeah so it's the same one as last year and then oh a bit of dust i have got a new planner here for the year now it's in this beautiful cover from gale and leather and i've had my initials put on there it's embossed in there and it's a beautiful black leather cover i've not set it up I don't know, to be honest, I feel like I'm a really uh, put things in pockets unless they're practical and I'm going to use them kind of a girl. Um, yeah, I don't know if I, I would just put things in to decorate because to me that's just more bulk. But this one is going to be the strategy. This is what I will be planning, um, what boxes we're doing when, um, everything for the business and so that I can track it. So I'll have it on my spreadsheets, but then I will notate it all in this book. And this is like, it's like another Bible to me. It's something um, I very much needed for this year going forward. So I've got those two, well, three really, and they're business planners for my business. So although I've just shown you those, they won't be going back on my channel again because they really are work tools for me but I have then got uh, I've got seven really I didn't show you this one and it's got ever so dusty it's been in a drawer um, and that's the problem with the black just the all black fabric ones they do get very very dusty this one I'm at a bit of a loss what to do with it in here I have got a Hobonichi Weeks 
this one I've kind of set up. In here, I've just got some pens. I've got some Tipex. I'm a really, really practical person. So I've got the free pen that came with the Hobonichi Weeks. I've got one of my Energel cleaners. I adore these pens. I went to order 10 more last night because they, it, isn't it funny? You don't lose them, but they get lost. Um, yeah, other people in the family come into my office <laughs> and they get lost. Yeah, do you have that problem? <laughs> so there's nothing in the zip. Then in here, what have I put in here? I've got a year's planner there because I don't know what to do with that either. I've got some sticker sheets here because I did sticker them up. Um, so I thought I'd need spare stickers, but I don't know what to use it for. I could use it as a health planner. Do you see, I had a bit of fun here. This is from Sunday and Serenity. Um, I put this lovely blue washi. I think that's lovely. And here a little sticker from the Coffee Monster Co that says, in case you forgot you deserve to be happy, reminder, recharge yourself before you hit the 1% mark, which, yeah, none of us do, do we? So I thought that was really quite important. What else was putting it? Yeah, I've had a bit of fun. I did. I had a bit of fun. This was, was this um, just before or just after Christmas? So I put some of these washi stickers down. So that's me, jeans, coffee, laptop, glasses. Yeah. And then I put like a Japanese theme on here. So I've used some, uh, I think this was vellum and I put it over the dates and I just put a sticker on and just, you know, pretty detail. I was so pleased with myself because I thought, oh, this is really creative. And I'm a very matter of fact person. So then I put a, De a December kick tin that I had. Um, I did then, I was going to use it as like a journal for what had happened in the day. So if I show you the, the second one, because I don't know what I've written in it, I haven't gone through it. Um, and just journal and use it as my day-to-day -day journal so that when I come to do memory planning, I had a record of everything that had happened. But the honest truth, I don't reach for the weeks. And I think I purchased it because of FOMO. Truth be known. So I could use it as a health journal and I could track my weight and track exercise. And I'm not going to do that. I can kid myself, but I'm not going to do that. So what I'm actually going to do is this planner is going to go in my set of work ones. Not that it's a work planner currently, but so that when I actually go to Paris for business, I have got a copy of the year, the weeks, and if there's anything I want to write down, I've got it. Truth be known, I didn't need it, but I've got it, so I'm gonna use it for that. If I don't use it, because the Hobonichi pa paper, the Tamoa River paper is um, supposed to be changing for next year. I know a lot of companies have already got the paper for their stock of planners for the new year, so it won't, necessarily affect a lot of businesses until 2023's release um 20 yeah because 2022's release they've got the paper for is 2023's release um do you know what i was going to buy spares and i chatted to caroline um um, my friend and for those who don't know I'm sure you know Princess Honey her uh, description's down in the description box down below and if you're not subscribed to her channel please go and subscribe yeah she's my friend I love her to pieces and I said shall I, shall I buy some shall I you know the shopaholic in me shall I shall and she was like no Karen because the chances are you're going to like what they bring out next year even more you see very wise <laughs> and I listened <laughs> As Caroline knows, I don't often listen, but I did listen to her. So, yeah, so that's what I've done. All right, this one, I've kind of set this up and I know I've done it off camera, but there's so many setup videos on, on camera. And to be honest, I quite enjoyed myself just setting them up, plodding along with little old me. And I, I have. And as you say, there's not a lot in there because this case gets really full really quickly. And this is a Moturn one. I had this last year. It's got the double press studs. Um, and even though, I mean, these are leather, it's what I would describe as an inexpensive leather cover, but the quality is always the same and you never see the popper. On a lot of the planners, you can see the popper coming through and it drives me nuts, so you can't. In here, I've got nothing in here yet, 
but there will be, there'll be receipts. In here again, it opens up, there's a pocket there, nothing in there. And all I've done is set it up again. <laughs> so yeah, again, prettied up the, the dashboard here. Ooh, there you go, prettied up the dashboard here. And I've got some stickers here. I think these are from the Grumpy Tortoise. I had them in the middle of last year. So I've got Facebook, um, Instagram and YouTube. And to start with, this was going to be my social media planner. And then I've had a change of heart, it's not. I've prettied it up as you can see. I love Japan and I love, there's just something about it. Then this um, vellum under here, I made myself and I just tore it and then I put some washi stickers over the top. Um, you see, I started to put down here when I was uploading videos. Um, but the thing with this is, it's small. Yeah. And here, you see, I did it again. So, this is an unpinned video showing what the pins look like. I did one here, Planner Hannah 25 Day Advent Unboxing. And the video wasn't in focus, so I wasn't happy. And that's as much as I put and then spend in that side. And it's just, there's too much going in. And I think I need it to be really simple what I use planners for, because otherwise I forget. And if I'm forgetting, it means I don't really need them. So here again, they're just some, I think this is from the Washi Tape Company, these ones. These here are from, Oh, they're washi strips. I've got a whole album. I want to do a video on those. So I was just, I was just playing. I was just decorating, putting some washi stickers down, just having a bit of fun. But as you can see, I've written nothing in it. This is going to be my spending planner, and that is all it's going to be. Um, I might decorate it. I might not. Um, again, if you have too many books you have to decorate week in, week out, you end up just sitting at your desk for a day or two days filling them out. And it's to plan, is to help me have a more productive life. Um, so all I'm going to do is what I spend, I'm going to put down here when I buy something in the shop and the amount. And then down here, I'm just going to have a running list that I'm going to then write out each week with what's still outstanding. So I always know what parcels I've not had and what I've spent. And I could, I suppose, thinking about it, put on here as an overview for the month, what I spend each day and put a total down here. Because this year, I am trying really hard to do a um, no spend, really. Um, or a very, very, very low spend. And I'm going to do a video when I've recorded this one, I'm going to do another video. I don't know which way they're going to go up, showing my sticker stash. And I'm going to get everyone to sign a disclaimer before they watch it, saying they will not judge me, because you will. <laughs> and I am, you wait, you wait. And um, uh, yeah, a bit of fun, eh? And so this, I want it to just be my accountability. And what I've already done is, I've, I've got some little things I put in here. So like, I stuck this down the other day. These are all the, the Rossi nail cover colours I've got and the Revel nail colours, because it's spending, isn't it? That's my spending planner, and that's all it's going to be is for spending. So hopefully I won't touch this all year long. <laughs> yeah, and can you see that flying pig out the window? Um, so yeah, so that's very much my, my objective is to spend virtually nothing, um, but to be accountable. So that's my, my spending one. Then here, I've got this beautiful cover from um, Hobonichi, and this is the A6 Techo. And it's a fabric one, and it's a raised fabric. It's like, it's like a carpet, if you like, underneath. And I know they say, don't put a cover on. But if I put a cover on, it protects it, and I'm really, I'm heavy-handed. I'm a bit accident-prone. And so, you know, it just keeps it nice, and then I can dettle it, and because that's what I do. I, I disinfect all my covers. So in this one, and I haven't started yet, I just decided this the other night. This is going to be my diary. And that's what it's going to be. It's going to be my diary. And I did this last year and I'm not going to decorate it. I'm not going to do anything. All I'm going to do is use it from the first 
and I'm just going to write down here, it's only A6, what it is I did for the day. So when I'm doing memory spreads, I can just look back and look at it. Now I've got last year's and I kept up with it. I did really well. I kept up until, let me get it. Where is it? Is this it? No, where is it? I've got my ring light there, I can't pull it out. But I, I kept up in it for about three quarters of the year. And this is the English Tech Show. Um, and I just, I just want to be able to write what we did. So when I come to do my memory spreads, it's there. So it's a bit like my diary. It's nothing I'll show. Um, it's just for me so that I know what to put in which planner, because I'm having two memory planners this year but they're going to be very different and I'm really excited about them. So that is just my daily diary and it's just going to sit by my armchair in the living room and I can just write things down and when I finish work, I can go and sit because that's what I do, I watch telly. I can sit and I can write things down. So that's that one, nice and simple. This, which is the A6 half year tech show, is going to be my social media planner. Now, I was thinking of using the Hobonichi Cousin, but truth be known, I don't need the weekly spreads. I've got in here a little notebook, so if I want to jot anything down, you know, any ideas, what have you, I can start doing that. I haven't been doing that. But then in here, in the um, half year Techo Avec, so it's a six month one, and then I've got the other six months in my drawer. You've got all of this, which I will probably refer to. I probably won't do anything special with. Again, I might end up listing the videos there. So it's like a yearly plan over three double spreads so I can look at it. But, sorry, over four pages. You've then got your monthly. So again, I can hear write down what videos I have done when. Then, here it has no weeks which i'm thrilled about and i didn't realize till i opened it up you've got daily pages and what i'm going to do on these daily pages is i'm going to print out a photo of my thumbnail for the videos that go up and put a little description underneath so this is going to be all about planning videos i might put statistics down i've never looked at statistics <laughs> I've never bothered with them because that's not why I started this. I started this because it's a hobby, it's something I enjoy doing. But everybody in all the videos I watch say that they write statistics down, so maybe I should. <laughs> FOMO, see, fear of missing out again. Should I be doing it, shouldn't I? Um, I do videos I like, I do videos I want to make, and I put them up when I want to do them. Um, but I want to do that in there. I want to print pictures off and put it in here so I have got a record. And I've had a new printer. I don't think I've shown it yet. This is my new printer. Um, and it's a Canon selfie. It's all just, I leave all these things on the top of my desk, you know. It's a Canon selfie printer. It is so incredibly easy to use. You plug it in, you turn it on. In here, you just put your papers, which are in a tray like this, and you literally just take that up like that and put it in there. I mean, that's as hard as that gets. Is that in focus? So your paper's in there, your change your ink. It's so easy to use and it's on an app. And for, I think it's 104 papers. Um, it's something like 30 pounds. And these aren't the, is it zinc that all the normal like little cameras come uh, printers come on that's proper camera paper it goes in and out of the machine four times um, it's yellow red and is it black or oh, it's another color it's the three colors and then it goes through one last time to put um, a sheen protective coat on it and it's meant to be waterproof and all sort of photos so I will print them off I can either do them in a6 but I'll probably do them in the half size so it's a good size photo it's not a little one it's a good size and I can write down below and I just think that'll be a lovely memory so I can plan my videos out and I can keep a record and I thought that would be perfect for social media there's no weeklies because there's nothing to fit in for a weekly um yeah 
nothing to fill in for a week so that is going to be my social media planner i've got these little stickers i can put these in here in the pocket so i can put those on and notate but that really is as difficult as this planner is going to be can you see i'm going for a very simple theme this year i want i just want simplicity yeah that's really important to me then i've got this one and this is my wonderland let's come out a little bit more my wonderland a5 and this is a new to me planner and so i just checked <laughs> this is my pre-plan this is my pre-plan and it's what i'm doing for the week so this kit that's currently in it i put down off camera and this is the dek 2022 kit and at the moment i've been buying the vertical boxes now i have now swapped over and i'm getting the short boxes so i'll end up with having more space in my columns but i can still decorate it so this is a holiday week really i wasn't working until tuesday and even though i'm working it's just a couple of hours each day checking up on emails sales things like that um, it's nothing massive because it's between the two holidays so it's really a holiday week but i'm still running the business that's really important and i ended up working all day not just two hours that day um putting their things i'm going to do so this is just my pre-planner of what i am going to do every every day and i have i bought this in the year and it was from the company we shall not name but it's got dream it believe it plan for it and I love this, it's a stand. And so I actually sit my pre-planner on a stand in front of me like so. So I know each day what it is, if there's anything special I've got to do. So like today I've got to buy a lottery ticket because I've changed how many lines I have, I've reduced it down. Um, and I've got to do that, but it sits on a stand in front of me, so my pre-plan is there. So I know what the week holds for me. So nice and simple. And then, as I said, at the end of the night, I will then be going into this one to write down the nitty gritty, anything that happened. We had a fabulous tea, happy night, what have you. And then that will form the basis of my memory keeping. But this is what I've got to do on a daily basis. So nice and simple. So I'm going to put that back over there. I've got two planners left. It's not confusing is it <laughs> i'm really pleased with this right this one this is in a new cover that i i don't believe i showed you and again it's another motor i like motor they don't cost an arm and a leg i mean it's still leather it's still you know a decent amount of money but it's not an arm and a leg and this is the a5 plus and this one is done specifically for the the cousin but it isn't the cousin that's in here I have got my Wonderland planner and I put it in a Lauren Phelps design glitter cover. As you can see, again, nothing in there. As I find things, because I'm having to sort out at the moment, I will put things in, but at the moment I haven't. But in this one, this I am so excited. I'm so super excited. I've got my first kit ready. <laughs> so for this week, I think I'm going to put the Spider-Man movie kit. I know it's New Year. But I think I'm going to put the Spider-Man, the Super Christmas one here from Fantasy Design Stores because all week long, Blake has been talking to us about the Spider-Man movie. And for anyone who doesn't know my son, he's doing a degree and this is what he wants to focus on as a, uh, as a career. So I've had to watch and I, trust me, the first Spider-Man movies I watched under duress yeah, I didn't fancy Toby Maguire. So anyway, <laughs> ladies, it helps, doesn't it? It really does. So anyway, Andrew Garfield was a bit kinder to the eye, so I didn't mind that so much. Why is he, why has he got Spider-Man and not Spider-Boy? I really just don't get that. But anyway, I'm going to use these, I think, just to dress it up. But predominantly, I am not going to be using kits in this, but I will be showing it you every week. This is going to be a memory plan with a difference because it's going to be a photo memory plan. Now, I've purchased kits off 
mandolin plans, which I have to hand. And the children were so kind and they got me some for Christmas. Oh, wrong book. So I've got some of these and these are labels that are done to the width size of the boxes. And the A5 width is greater than 1.5. I can't remember what it is offhand. Let's measure. Uh, that's not going to do it, is it? That's centimetres. It's not one and a half centimetres. Do you have hard days as well? Right, so there we have it. So there's 1.5. So it's about, I think it's 1.65. There you go. And that black line there is actually a Hobonichi cousin width. So let's come down. So let's see if you can see that a bit better. So here, that there is how wide a Hobonichi cousin would be. And we've got this extra room here. That would be a normal 1.5. And this one, the columns are slightly wider. And what I liked about this is it gives me more space to put photos down. I did the Hobonichi cousin last year and I did it for about five months of the year. And um, I used kits, I did all of that. And in the back, there's not enough pages for one for every day of the year by any means. I think there's 70 pages in the back. Um, but I did enjoy painting on it. So, but I haven't got something to paint or journal about every single day. So when it's a special day, I'm just going to, I might put some paint down, I might not, but I'm going to put bigger photos down to really stress that day. So this is going to be a photo log of my year. Um, so I know Caroline does a photo a day sometimes and I am now just taking it to the next level where I have got a photo diary because me and Savannah were sat down and we were looking through what I'd already done and it was so interesting to look back and we were laughing at things and when she'd shook something to make something and I think it was Christmas and she got pancake mix all over a new, a new top. And things like that are funny and if you've got a photo it jogs your memory. So that's what I'm going to use this for. So it's going to be my photo memory keeper. I might put kits in. Don't know. It's there in case. But if I don't, I don't. But this is going to be my photo memory planner. And I am so excited about this. And this one I will share with you. So don't worry about that. Then. Last year, I used this um, Harriet Wright's designs. And I love doing this. I love putting all the stickers down with all the, the bougie boxes, the, fo the foil, uh, clear foil underneath to hide the white space. I love putting the sticker kits down. I loved it. Did I do many? No, I didn't. Um, and I have got so many kits. Um, yeah, it's quite embarrassing how many kits I've got. But I'm going to try it in this Aura Estelle. Now, I love this one because it's got like, it's a blossom pattern and I, I just think it's beautiful. And it's on the outside as well as the inside. And I haven't set it up. I've just put the uh, dates down here on the monthly tabs. This I've labelled up ready to put the kits I'm going to use. So that is the plan currently for that. Then it goes straight into them. Now, these are the inserts from Caress Press. So there are no monthly inserts because I don't need monthly. I just want this purely as a memory keeper. Now, if we look at the paper, I was interested. It is the same size. Wow, I didn't think it was the same size. So it is actually the same size paper. I wondered if this was a bit wide or not because it's called the A5 wide, isn't it? But it's actually exactly the same size as a normal planner. Now, I'm, I haven't thrown this away, even though I seriously haven't done many plans in it. It's like really empty. But because it's undated, I thought what I might do is in another year when I want to reuse it. So like one, two, three, 
was five, was still four, four weeks in January. So all I need to do is on this sticker, put 2020. And then this one, if I want it for 2023, I can do that and fill my book up. So this one is purely going to be me using my stickers. I have got that many. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy using all the icons. I just love all of that. And I just, yeah, I've fallen by the wayside. I think this year I've become so busy that I hadn't allowed time for myself to record things. And when I actually look through all of my planners, I don't actually have a complete planner, you know. I've got um, three quarter of a B6 Stalogy. I haven't got a complete planner. So that's why I knew this year I needed to make it so that it worked for me. I wasn't working for it and I wanted to have a bit of fun. So my intention on the channel is to do plan with me in this memory keeping. So that's that one. I then want to do plan with me's in this one which is going to be my photo um, planner so that'll be fantastic so that's something different this one i won't be showing because that's purely my my diary that's what i want to call it a diary of what happens to me on a daily basis this one is going to be my videos so i may well end up showing you that one and this one is my spending one, and I may well end up showing you that one. We'll see how we go, shall we? <laughs> um, but I will definitely be showing you my pre-plan. So my, my plan, so to speak, for the year is that we do three or four videos a week. That is definitely what my plan is for the year um, going forward. So we have a pre-plan, a plan with me, photo, a plan with me using all my beautiful sticker kits and then maybe even planning out for my social media or even a review of what I've spent. So those are going to be my actual planners and that's nice and easy for me to remember. Because <laughs> I can't be putting this in here and that in there and that. I just need it simple so that I use it because if it's not simple, I'll just leave it to the side because you just end up with no time, don't you? But I hope you've enjoyed that. So those are going to be all of my planners for this coming year. Which really, there's only four, isn't there? Because that's a spending one. So I would just reach for that when I've spent it. So really, there's four there that are going to be my um, daily planners, if you like. Two memory planners, a pre-plan and a social media plan. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that's given you some thought for yours, especially if you're someone who's got a lot of planners and you want to condense it down or you've got one and you, you'd love another one, but you didn't know what to use it for. Maybe even get a, a planner and join me for the photo planning because I think that's going to be fantastic. You know, putting daft photos down and comments and a proper old-fashioned diary of your life but with memories on the page so that when we're that old, we can't remember. Hopefully they'll jog our memory. That's the plan. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button coming at the end of the video and the notification bell. That way then you'll know when I've uploaded a video. Entirely up to yourself if you watch it, but I don't know about you, I like to know. But thanks so much for watching. Be good, be kind. Please take care of yourselves and don't forget, it's never too late to get happily planning. Bye for now, everyone. Happy New Year to you. Bye for now.